In today's video, we will discuss the sources of stomach acid and the factors that can influence its symptoms. So, let's get started. Stomach acid is a substance produced by the parietal cells in the lining of our stomach. The production of stomach acid involves several important steps. Firstly, there is neural and hormonal stimulation that stimulates the parietal cells to produce stomach acid. Hormones such as gastrin, histamine, and acetylcholine play a role in stimulating the production of stomach acid. After the stimulation, the parietal cells produce stomach acid by using chloride ions, Cl, and hydrogen ions, H+. Chloride ions are taken from the blood through an exchange with bicarbonate ions, HCO3, inside the cells, while hydrogen ions are generated through a proton pump on the membrane of the parietal cells. It is important to note that the production of stomach acid is controlled by complex regulatory mechanisms. Foods that enter the stomach and certain substances such as caffeine, alcohol, or spicy foods can stimulate the production of stomach acid. Now, let's discuss the factors that can influence the symptoms of stomach acid. Unhealthy eating patterns such as consuming spicy, fatty, acidic, or carbonated foods can trigger worse symptoms of stomach acid. In addition, beverages containing caffeine like coffee or tea, as well as alcoholic beverages, can also worsen the symptoms of stomach acid in some people. Do not forget that stress can also play a significant role. Although stress is not a direct cause of stomach acid, it can affect the digestive system and increase the production of stomach acid, worsening existing symptoms. Furthermore, there are other factors that can cause symptoms of stomach acid, such as Helicobacter pylori bacterial infection, the use of certain medications, or other medical conditions. That's a brief overview of the sources of stomach acid and the factors that influence its symptoms. If you experience prolonged or disruptive symptoms of stomach acid, it is recommended to consult a doctor for further evaluation. Thank you for watching our video today. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos on health and other useful information. See you in the next video.